Hey guys, what's up? Misha from Horizon Devices here. And today, I'm sitting here. We're in 2023, but with the 2022 December Rift Contest entries. We have eight of them. I have not seen them. I'm going to react to them, as I always do, and I'm going to pick a grand prize winner that is going to win not one, but two pedals of their choice. And you know what, Brian? Let's throw them some strings as well. Anyways, now that we know the prizes, let's jump right in. This first one is from Jackson Wagner. Strong intro there. Uh, we're, you know, I mean, uh, as I understand it, gent is not a genre. But if it were, that first riff would be very, very genty. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna say this because I'm curious if they were going for like sort of a an ow my feelings vibe. Is that is that too much of a like pat on the back right there? I don't know. It's, it kind of reminds me of that, and I haven't listened to that song in a long time. Maybe it was. If it wasn't, then I apologize. If it was, I, I, feel, I just feel like I'm catching something cool, so maybe I am. Just let me know. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. It sounds way better than how my feelings anyways, so... That was awesome. I really like that. I'm going to say a couple more things. That second section kind of reminds me of Mark, and the last one kind of reminds me of Jake. I'm totally just, uh, yeah, no, that's, I might be going a little too far with that. Sorry. I apologize in advance if, I, if I'm out of line on that one. But uh, but very cool. Also, that last part kind of had this, like, chimp spanner-esque kind of lead thing that was, like, you know, leading the chord changes and all that. Uh, really cool vibes. Very, very genty. Kind of everything that's good about Gent. Uh, it sounds great. That was really, really good. That's a strong, strong first submission. Um, these are numbered by Brian. I don't think there's any particular order. It's certainly not a, a, any alphabetical order. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's an awesome way to start. Let's move on. Let's see. Uh, the next one is from Connor Callen. probably should stop that i'm just taking it all in sorry guys um that's awesome there's a lot flying at you they're doing that sort of mid-gain um uh split coil kind of thing or it sounds like second or fourth position on the strat that kind of vibe um and like uh it's like that pliny style kind of uh, lead guitar with the the you know midi instruments or other instruments or reinforcing it which makes everything sound very intentional like if ever you want to make things sound like they that they were sort of deliberate as opposed to like let's say a an improvised lead or something like that then yeah like matching that line uh, even if you did improvise it but matching that line with other instruments makes everything sound so purposeful so that's what's happening there and man uh, this guy, this guy's shredding. This guy's shredding over this. Uh, but it's all very, very tasty. Again, it sounds good. Mix is good. Um, everything's kind of appropriate. The tones are appropriate. You can see that there's a lot of thought that's uh, put into the, the, the tones and how they fit the riffs. Like, not too much gain at first. Uh, let's listen to the rest. <laughs> That 
was really cool. That's very, very proggy, very proggy. And I, and I, I dig where that's coming from because you have these, you have the lead guitar and the, the, the sort of rhythm guitar, which is still playing relatively, uh, complex stuff and the lines are kind of dancing around each other so that's very cool that's not easy to do it's not easy to do well and it could easily come off as an exercise or something like that um if you don't really kind of focus on on all the parts not only sounding good individually but together so that's uh that's very masterful stuff very it shows a mastery of the instrument melody and all that so a really really good submission there um that's that's two that's two uh, big hitters right there. Uh, I'm I'm sensing a theme. You know, it's been a while since we've done this, so maybe you guys are just uh, kind of raring to go. I don't know. This next submission is from David Dobrinsky. Dobrinsky. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm tr I'm really trying here. probably should stop I, i'd like to just talk about this a little bit this is awesome and the guitar is not the focus i don't know if this technically uh counts i kind of don't care though so what i'm what i'm hearing here you can tell me if i'm wrong tell me in the comments but this is totally like a lewis cole kind of uh nowhere vibe going on here and i love it again that's a style that is uh not easy to 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 cop in any way like that, that guy's a musical genius and a half uh, and you're doing sort of this faithful, I mean, it doesn't sound like any one of their songs, but definitely has that vibe. I can't imagine that's easy to do. I see you sort of performing on these, uh, what looks like novation pads. Um, and there's some guitar being integrated. I don't really hear it that much, but it doesn't really matter. Don't care. This is really sick. That was awesome. I'm going to say one thing, and I really hope that you take this as a constructive thing, because I'm telling you this because I think this is this rules. Um, the the one thing that you're sort of missing the mark on, if you were going for like sort of a, a Noah or a Lewis Cole thing, is his pr production and sounds and the punch of his drums and all. It's like really top notch. Like, I don't even really know how he gets it because he's like playing these like, you know, really minimalist uh, kits, which I'm, I'm guessing have a lot of like sound deadening or pad padding or whatever on them. Uh, and they sound very, very um, processed to where they almost sound like samples, right? But um, if you had that, you would have a full on, like, like you could tell me it was like a Nowhere song or a Lewis Cole song, and I believe you. And that's amazing. I, I really think that's a phenomenal entry. I saw a guitar for about seven seconds in that whole thing. And I'm going to allow this because I like this so much. So, so fantastic entry there. All right, the next one is from Hoa Pierre. Again, doing my best with the names. All right, right off the bat, I see an Apex preamp. Uh, uh, well, that's not an Apex preamp, but it's, uh, it's, it's, we have Apex preamp at home. But uh, 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 very cool. Does that mean that you don't have one and you want one? Because that's interesting. But uh, that tone is really, really cool. I love that tone. It sounds synthy. It sounds like a very, very octaved. Um, I hear a, a lot of people doing this sort of sound today, and it's, and it's really, really cool. I say a lot of people. That's not true. I, I hear a few people doing it, and I'm always like, wow, I wonder what you're using. Let me know what you're using to get this. Um, that, that's a really cool and, and unique uh, sound. I've never heard it quite like this. It's working very well for this riff. And I'm going to say that it's an octave of some kind because you can hear on the palm mutes. They always like, give these palm mutes a, a very sort of white noise characteristic. It's very, very cool. What are we using there for shaking? I can't see it too clearly, but whatever it is, it looks like it's funny. All 
All right, the production on this one, you know, I'm going to give points there too because it's it's the whole package. And you guys are so talented that I can't just do it on the songs anymore. Everyone's kind of throwing everything they got. It the, the the editing, the shots are great on this one. The mix is great, and now we have a whole bunch of uh, video editing stuff. So not trying to raise the bar too much with that, but man, got to give props when I see it. That's that's awesome. Very cool. Very, very, very fresh sound. I don't really know what that sounds like, to be honest. So that's very, very cool. Uh, I like that. Well done. Hoa Pierre. How do you say your name? All right. Next next one. I think I can say this name. Va Valeri Natas. It might be like a really simple name to say. Valeri Natas. I'm making a big deal, right? Is that right? Tell me I'm right, please. I hope I'm right. All right, so this this sounds great. This looks great. The mix is sick. I love the snare drum. Love a good high tune snare drum. Good production. Like so it's kind of the whole package. Uh, the riff again, kind of kind of a genty thing, but like kind of a fresh take on it. A bit monumenty, but like actually, eh, not. It's quite kind of its own thing. It's kind of its own thing. Well done so far. So this has like a lot of uh, call and response type riffs. I always think these are very cool. This is one of those things that might be considered a bit of a, a, a gent thing. You know, it's kind of popularized by uh, bands like Sixth, for example, or, or even there were some some sugar riffs that kind of play on a very simple version of that. But but it's always cool. It's cool to see how this this call and response thing has evolved. I mean, this is extremely intricate. It seems to be a very low tuning, but but um, it's on a six string, so I don't know if it's just uh, one of those tunings where the, the low string's all the way down to like an A or a G or whatever, you know? Um, but you can get the, the low range out of it, but then there's still a lot happening in the high end, so then it makes that call and response sound even more extreme. Very, very cool. I like how I stopped it like literally right at the end, right? Let's listen to a little bit of that. Again. Very cool. Filmed very well. Sounds like top notch all around. My job is getting harder and harder. I have to pick one. I, have, Brian, Brian, I have to pick one. There's three more to go. There's three. Th this is gonna be impossible. You guys are way too talented. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's just it's gonna be very hard to pick someone. Um, I already don't know who I'd pick. All right, let's move on and make things even more complicated. Um, and speaking of complicated. <sighs> Felipe, uh, I'm going to go with Vidrivsky. That's just like a solid little guess there. Tell me how I did. Can you sound it out in the comments? Sound it out in the comments. Felipe Vidrivsky. I'm going to say that with confidence. And then that's just your name. This next submission is by Felipe Vidrivsky. See, that works. <laughs> I'm just taking this in. There's a lot happening here. Wow, this is pretty wild. The guitar sounds wild, and, and a lot of these techniques are pretty, pretty intricate here.
that guy just figured out guitar, I guess. I mean, I don't know what more you learn on guitar. Jesus, the chops are insane. <laughs> Right there, that's really interesting. This guy has a mastery over um, melody and whatever. I would say that those are sour notes in there. I wonder if that was intentional or not. Because those aren't the notes that I would pick, but maybe he wanted them to sound, sound, sound kind of out. But, um, but I can't fault... I mean, like the, this guy's picking all the notes he wants, it seems like. I mean, this, this only part here, right? I love that. So it's matching all the, the, the drum accents and everything, and it's just kind of creating a flurry of notes. That's really, really cool. Again, don't know what style of music that is. That's, that's completely unique right there. Uh, we have um, Bishwadeep Sikder. All right, right off the bat, sick, sick mix, uh, sick guitar tone, sick dur. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't have friends. All right, um, really, really awesome mix and and production already so far. Uh, video quality leaves something to be desired. There's a lot of red. Don't do that, you know. But that's fine. We don't care because everything sounds really good so far. Um, the guitar tone rules. I love it. Um, everything's sounding great so far. It's kind of got this mashuga ish thing going on what looks like an eight string there um and i'm always a fan of that so that's an easy way to my heart Damn, that was awesome. That was awesome. Really good use of flow there. Like I was invested in each part and kind of really enjoying how it's moving to the next thing. So, I mean, this isn't a solo contest, but that was a really cool creative solo. Lots of interesting tonalities and it was kind of flirting with being a little bit out and then sort of resolving uh, when it, with it being kind of in. Um, you know, we have this like typical uh, sort of genty low gain with like the, or you don't even have to have low gain, but you have the, the, the clean guitars over the top doing their thing. But then this goes really sick lead. That's a sick riff. That is a really sick riff. And it's always great when, uh, when you could build into that so that it feels like a resolution to something. I mean, listen to this, like it, it feels like everything's sort of building and then that gets to be the tension release there. Very cool. That's an, that's an awesome submission. I really like that. And that one on the surface might be sort of like more Meshuggah-ish or derivative or whatever, but it's actually very, very uh, original in, in a lot of ways. I really like the vibe on that one a lot. Um, and then uh, the, the final entry here, we have Jeremiah Sanchez. All right, two things right off the bat. Love the guitar. That is my signature guitar, so you know how to win competitions because now you automatically win if you have my signature guitar. There, I said it. That's right, Brian. What are you going to do about it? There's nothing you can do about it. No, I'm just joking. I take it back. I take it back. I can't do that. 
Um, the guitar tone is very, very cool, though. It's that when when I talk about purr, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is a very purry guitar tone, and that doesn't necessarily mean it might not be genty, because uh, the purr is is partially something that you may dial in. Um, you generally want a, a good amount of gain and, and some saturation, um, you know, and good sort of mid range, low mid uh, representation in the EQ, and and that has to do with the amp, of course, your setup. But it's also in how you pick it. So if you're sort of um, choking up less on the, the bridge on your palm mutes, then they will sustain a bit more. And, you know, you just make sure everything's super in tune. Uh, in this case, it just seems like open, which is great. And that will purr. And uh, um, it, it's partially a technique thing. So uh, to get something like this, it, it's got to be a bit of both. But that's very cool. I always appreciate that. And technically a very purry tone if you sort of dig into it, choke up on the bridge. You can get a genty tone. Let's see what happens. All right, this is something that we haven't seen too much of today is like direct sword traditional harmonies. One of the submissions, I forget who, um, I was saying like there's sort of a counterpoint thing going. We had the lead and then you had the rhythm guitar and they were sort of playing against each other. But these more traditional, um, you know, he's doing sort of a call and response riff as well here. But then the response part is harmonizing in a very traditional way. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing like thirds or something like that, right? <laughs> We, uh, we have a lot of leads. This isn't a lead contest, but hey, I will take it. Very cool. So this, um, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about a quick thing. Notice a few of these entries are, uh, are, are portrait, which makes me think that these are being prepped for reels. That means it wasn't for us. It means it was for Instagram. I'm not watching this on Instagram. You know that. So that means you're trying to do a dual purpose thing here. I don't know if I can let you win. Nah, I'm just being mean. I'm just being mean. But I see, I see you and I see what you're doing. And that's fair. And we, we could have a larger debate about what's going to happen because what is, uh, is everything going to go uh, portrait all of a sudden because of phones? Hmm. That is a conversation for another day. Conversation for today is that that was fantastic. Very melodic. So that one didn't go super genty in the traditional sense. But um, the purry sort of mid rangey tone means that when you do those call and response riffs, you can really hear the notes and they resonate very nicely. And uh, you get this sort of rich rich mid-range sound, you know, the, the harmonics of, of the chords, uh, as long as the guitar is very in tune, which it was in this case, they'll, they'll just sound huge, it'll make the chords sound great, and uh, if you're harmonizing against each other and playing single notes or chords, that will also play very, very nice. Now I have to figure out who's going to win this. Oh, man. All right. God, all these are so good. I'm actually, I'm actually in a bit of trouble here because I, I'm genuinely not... Uh, I'm, I'm not just saying this. I don't think we've had consistently this caliber where like every single entry is just like you guys are all. Oh, God, this sounds horrible. <laughs> I say you guys are all contest winners. Like, I feel like at a certain point, any one of these would have won from from the rest of them. And now you're all like at this level here. God, who you know what? Just so you know how difficult my life is. Why don't you tell me who you would pick? In the <laughs> in the comments, who would your. Who would your winner be? And you have to write their name correctly or it doesn't count. All right. This is really difficult. This is really difficult. I think I'm going to have to go. And this, I don't think I've ever had so much trouble picking someone. So, so just know that. I'm going to have to go with Hoa Pierre. couple reasons um very creative riff very creative tone production 
great video work, very creative video work. It's kind of looking at the whole thing. And it's unfortunate that it comes down to that. But like when you guys are all sending me absolute fire musically, uh, there's got to be some differentiator, you know? We're talking about the difference between F1 drivers here. That's what you guys are, you know? And I know no one watches F1, so no one gets that reference. It's fine. It's fine. But um, <laughs> it's uh, you guys. You guys are all at the top of your game. Um, th this is this is phenomenal stuff. And, and I always say it's a treat. But like I'm, I'm starting to get a bit overwhelmed. I mean, all you guys. There's there's so much unique takes on on sounds and styles that I really like. Um, you guys all need to, uh, to to keep at it. So Ho up here again. I hope that's how you say your name. Um, uh, I don't know if you actually have an Apex preamp if that was a bit or whatever. If you don't, then you should have one. Uh, but Brian, let's let's send him a couple petals of his choice. So you choose two petals, and we'll we'll, we'll send that off to you, and we'll send you some strings as well. Um, you want to know what's so funny? Actually, <laughs> that one that one kind of blew me away so much that I only realize this now. Cause, uh, cause normally I'm so aware of brands. That's my signature guitar, and I only just noticed it on like the third playthrough. So, shows what I know. Uh, but that's how distracted I was by everything else—the riff, the production. So, really, really well deserved there. Um, I'm not supposed to do this, and and you know, Brian will be down for this because I'm sure. Well, he, you know, he's seen these as well. So. I just can't, I, you know, I figured I'd pick like one or two runners up, but like I, I can't. So why don't we just do some string sets for the rest of you guys? I know it's not the craziest thing in the world, but I, I want to send you guys something. I mean, it, I'm genuinely, genuinely blown away by all the submissions. So uh, please keep it up. What a what a great December riff contest that was. That was a great way to end 2022, which is totally the year I'm still in now, and I'm not filming this uh, in January 2023. <laughs> uh, no, it, I am in the next year. I'm very curious to see what our, our contest will do this year. Uh, they just seem to get better and better. I don't know if you guys have been following. If you haven't, watch some of the older ones. Uh, we can link it here, here here to the older ones there's some phenomenal submissions i feel like we found some insane talent there's some people that are not allowed to enter in competitions anymore because they're just they're just too talented um so it's great to discover all this and again all of you guys like please please promise me that you'll keep it up every one of you you're obviously put here to do music so whether it's your full-time job or your your side hustle or whatever please don't stop because it's clear that you have a very very good grasp of it and you should be writing, you know, like, like, I think it would make the world a better place if you keep writing and keep developing your musical skills and abilities. So have at it. If our strings can help in, in any way at all, that makes me very happy. So we'll, we'll send those off to you. Um, but yeah, that's it. We made it through it. We made it through it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will catch you for the next one.